subnetting is a division of large IP networks are dividing a large IP networks into small logical networks so as like a subnet mask is a 32 bit number that's used to, to identify which part of the address is a network portion and which part of the address is a host portion so so far there are two types of subnetting methods available that is FLSM fixed length subnet mask and variable length subnet mask in this video we are going to discuss about fixed length subnet mask there are many advantage of using a subnets so here are the primary advantages that is using a subnet it's simplified it's very simple to manage a large network and as a large network is logically divided into small network the broadcast within the network is minimized and due to this the network performance is increased and maximized and it's secured so FLSM it is a fixed length subnet mask it divides a large network into a equal or a same size of logical subnets so uh, the main disadvantage of this method is it won't go beyond its class boundary and the main formula the main formula that's used to do, do subnet is 2 to the power of small n that's equal to or uh, greater greater than or equal to a big n that's nothing but requirements so here is the table of converting decimals to binary value so IP address is a 32 bit binary binary bits so that's divided uh, that's represented as or divided as 8 octets so each octets will be having 8 bits so these 8 bits will be having its corresponding decimal numbers so these decimal numbers or the corresponding values for uh, 8 bits for each octets for example if all the 8 bits in an octet is 1111 then the value of that octet is 255 so before going into subnet we are supposed to be thorough uh, in the values of 2 power table that makes us to do subnets very easily so now let's see a scenario so in this scenario uh, we are going to subnet a class A network that is 10.0.0.0 uh, as 4 small networks that we are going to subnet a big network that's 10 0.0.0 into 4 subnets that can be used for 4 different offices so in general as 10 is a class A network the subnet mask for this is 255.0.0.0 and in general for a class A network the first octet is a network portion and the last third three octets is a host portion so uh, in order to have a formula our requirements is for 4 so as our requirement is 4 networks the big n the capital N is 4 so by uh, substituting uh, this formula that's 2 to the power of small n greater than or equal to capital N we can find the value that is for small n we will be substituting from 0 to uh, 1 2 3 until the condition satisfies as the capital N is 4 it will be in such a way that is 2 to the power of small n greater than or equal to 4 so until we get 4 we substitute 0 1 2 3 and all so when it when we substitute n as 0 that's 2 power 0 is 1 so it won't satisfy condition when it comes to 2 power 1 is 2 it won't satisfy condition when it comes to 2 power 2 that satisfy condition is 4 so for 4 networks we will be having 4 possibilities with the as n is a 2 we are taking 2 bits so with this 2 bits we can get have 4 possibilities that is uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so first as it's a class A network uh, we have made us 10 that's a network ID and uh, we have made all the host IDs and uh, converted into bits so as the n is equal to 2 we need to borrow 2 bits from host bits to network bit so this first 2 bits from host bit comes to now network it belongs to now network bit so this 10 dot all zeros now looks in such a way that this 2 bits now belongs to network bit so now the subnet mask for this case this is 255.192 this 192 is nothing but as this 2 bit came to network bit this corres this bit corresponding decimal value is 128 and this bit's corresponding value is 64 
last bit is 128 and last before is 64. So 128 plus 64 is 192.0.0. So now we are going to find out what's the network address for this network. In order to find the network address, we are supposed to keep all the host bits as 0. So in this as this is an host bit, we have placed 0 for all the host bits and have converted into decimal value. So we got the network addresses 10.0.0.0. And in order to have the first first host address for this network, we have to place 0 for all the host, host bits and 1 for the last bit of the host address. So the first host address of this network is 10.0.0.1. As like the same, in order to have the last host address of this network, we have to place 1 for all the host address and 0 for the last bit of the host address. As I have already told, these two bits are now not an host bits. It's, it's already taken as a network bit. So if once we convert all these bits into decimal value, we got 10, 34, 25 and 254 as the last host address because the value is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 34. By adding everything, this we will get 64. And in order to have the broadcast address, we are supposed to put 1 for all the host bits. So by placing 1 for all the host bits, we get 10.64.255.255. So as we, have, we got 4 possibilities, now we have tried with this first possibility, that is 0, 0 for the network 1. Now we are going to try with 0, 1 for second network. So we have tried with 0, 1. So as we have already borrowed 2 bits, now we are going to put 1 for this. And we are going to did the same what we did for the first network. So in order to get the network ID, we have placed all zeros for all the host bit and got the network address. And in order to get the first host address, put 1 for the last bit of the host address. And in order to get the last host address, we need to put 1 for all the host address except the last bit of the host address and in order to get the broadcast address we have to put all the host addresses to 1. So now for the second network we have find the network address, first host address of the network address and last host address of the that particular network address and broadcast address for that particular network and for the third network we have tried with the third possibility that is we have put 1 and 0 as the corresponding value for this bit is 128 we got 128 here and the network address became 10 128 .0 .0. and f remaining all things as, as we have did for the earlier one and second, first and second network we have did and got all the corresponding things and for the fourth network we have tried with the fourth possibility that is 1 and 1 and as like before for in order to get the network address need to put 0 for all the host bits and in order to get the first host address, need to put 1 for the last bit of the host address. In order to get the last host address, need to put for all the host 1 for all the host address and 0 for the last host address. And in order to get the broadcast address, need to put 1 for all the host bit. So, so this is the workout. You can try. So here there are 3 questions available with different classes. So please try.